Yes, let's talk about demand in general. What impact of uh, the pandemic have you seen on the fund and uh, these companies that you follow that are investing in robotics, AI, et cetera? So, well, first of all, thank you for having me. Uh, then if, if we sort of look at it, we've actually sort of seen a very consistent growth over the period because we're seeing manufacturing slowly coming back. We're seeing manufacturing leaving China and going to Mexico and going to Vietnam, going elsewhere. But also in, in healthcare, as an example, we are seeing that robots are being used. So before, if you were a doctor and you were going to go up and see a patient, now you would like to stand sort of 25 feet away while you examined your patient and basically operated through a an iPad or similar. So we're seeing the distancing with the healthcare. Of course, we're seeing tremendous amount of growth in the in the logistics sector because people do home deliveries now. I don't think about going to the grocery store. Instead, I call Walmart or Amazon Fresh or these to be able to get it delivered to me. So we're seeing logistics has tremendous growth. Healthcare has tremendous growth. Manufacturing is growing sort of consistently, uh, even through this uh, period. And finally, we're seeing various kinds of also surveillance operations. So across the entire sector, we're seeing very broad interest. Now, uh, being an educator yourself, you obviously know how hard the pandemic has hit the school system, you know, across the board. I'm curious what role robotics can play in remote learning and is already playing in, in remote learning. So, so we're starting to see in, in remote learning that, that you can get uh, the equivalent of sort of a robot companion. Think about it as a dull sort of, you know, uh, one, two feet tall. That has some that you can interact with. So we're seeing companies like Embodied in in LA, and a few other companies that are bringing in these companions. So today we have our kids; they're sitting in front of the screen. They're doing sort of five hours of Zoom calls, and they're like, oh, "This is really boring, Dad. Why do I have to do another five hours of Zoom calls? What if I could give them a companion instead that they would be playing with, that would be interacting with them? So let's say we're trying to do a math lesson." I can have the robot look at me, can read my facial expression. It can sort of say, is he happy? Is he sad? Is he frustrated? Is he engaged? And for some period of time, I will be engaged. And, I'll say, mm. and then, then the robot will say, hey, you know, I can see maybe we should uh, do a dance or a song instead. So you're basically interacting with the pupil as you do this. And through this, it, we are almost gamifying the learning experience in such a way that they will feel much more engaged. And at the same time, out of this, we can also extract, extract metrics. How much time was the, um, was the pupil paying attention? How much were they happy? What kind of topics were they covering? This is essential metrics that you can both give to the teacher, but it's also essential metrics that you can give to the parents so that they know, were you sitting in front of the computer and sort of resting your eyes or were you really paying attention? And what can we do to make it an individualized experience? And, and, and we think this is gonna take off big time that we can use this. Today we can go in, we can look at your facial expressions. We're starting to get to a place where I can actually read EEG through my earbuds. And through this, I can sort of measure what is your brain activity? Are you paying attention? Are you doing the right thing? And I can bring this into my educational experience in such a way that I can make sure that I catch you when you're really motivated to uh, learn new knowledge. But also I can see it in, in the university classroom where, you know, if I explain something and everybody sort of, then it's time to sort of say, I should wow. probably explain this again. So there's a lot of really cool opportunities. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, uh, Professor Christensen, whether to be scared or delighted at the thought of companion robots with my children. But it is definitely a mind-blowing thought.